Across central Illinois, high schools are getting ready for their fall theater productions. And whether it's a musical, a drama, or a comedy. Yeah, these students and staff have worked hard leading up to opening night. And storyteller Sarah Lehman is here with us to tell us about one high school's production. Yeah, so I got a backstage look. Many of us know the classic movie, Matilda. Yes. Well, central high school is utilizing their new theater space and bringing the movie to life. And again, I got a behind-the-scenes peek. Check it out. Wait, I'm on the telly. You're on the telly. Oh, oh, really, on the telly? Oh my goodness. Oh, hello, hello, how are you doing? How are you? Is, is this going to be back in Sheffield, where my family is? We can get it to them. Oh, we can get it to them? Mm. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hello. Hi. <laughs> So we have Matilda going on. We are super excited to be able to use our new theater, all of the new space, and we're kind of pulling all the bells and whistles out for this musical. We've got flying of people. We've got sets moving all the over the place. We have projections and lights. So we're trying to show people what the referendum dollars went to. All right, my name is Zinnia Wormwood. Um, my name is Ari Wormwood. I'm playing Miss Agatha Trunchbull. Perfect. A, a classic, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and you are playing? Miss Honey. Another classic. Yeah. <laughs> I think what's really special about Miss Honey is she really has so much empathy and she's really caring. Obviously, she has, you know, a sort of hard life with dealing with Miss Trunchbull and stuff, but I think the way that she looks after the kids, especially Matilda, is really admirable for anybody. It's going great. It's going great. We've got an incredibly talented cast here, an amazing crew. You know, uh, the makeup specialists definitely have a lot, to, uh, a lot of work to do on me. Um, but it's just been an incredible experience, genuinely. And um, being in the new theater has just been uh, a game changer. The amount of stuff we're able to do in here, it just feels like home. It's been great for the students. The students are so ready. But with any new build, we keep finding little glitches and things that we have to kind of... Uh, Oh, there's something else we didn't know we had to fix. Uh, so we've had some starts and stops, but I, I feel like by opening night, all of those are going to be smoothed out, and it's going to be smooth sailing. It's definitely been a lot, but I feel like it's really coming together. This past weekend especially, it's just felt smoother and smoother with every run. So I think we'll definitely have a great opening on Thursday. I should be I mean, it's just completely different. Um, the balcony is so nice. The amount of fly space we have, the capacity for rigging, so we're doing flying in the show. Um, you know, much more backstage space, much more dressing room space. It's just, um, it's, it's just, you know, a massive upgrade. I wasn't able to perform in Old Decker at Central, but coming here from Centennial last year was just such a change. We just have so much more space, and the balcony is just incredible. It's just such an incredible theater for a high school especially. I was just blown away. I really like to do things for children is one of my goals every year because I like to tell little kids and show little kids that theater is important, right? And live theater is special. It's different than seeing a movie. Uh, you get some energy from the cast and they get energy from the audience and that's kind of a beautiful thing. And so when I wanted to see what we could do with the, the silks and other kinds of things, it felt like this show it was a vehicle for all those kind of things, so we could show lots of different kinds of talents of students. I mean, all of the tricks are just incredible. Not only the flying and the silks, but we also have some cool tricks since, you know, Mitchell's got those mind powers, so it's really exciting to see how all of that comes together on stage. You know Oh man, we got a lot. We got a lot. Um, I think the whole show is kind of a kind of a trip. You know, you don't expect the next scene. Um, I'm really excited for for people to see some of the fly in action. I think there's a little bit more than people uh, people may think coming in. Um, and you know what I'm really excited about is the silks. We've got some really talented people on there. I think the audience is gonna be really wild because that is a very hard feat they're pulling off. Because there's gonna be something new every time. We're so excited yeah, for the show. So we're so excited. We both have our own little numbers. We're so excited to dance and shake our little tushies. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic, don't you think? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. 
Obviously, I interviewed those kids in character. But opening night is tonight for these students, and the show runs until Sunday. You can buy tickets at the door or get them online. We'll have all that information for you over on our website, ciliving.tv. So they're also being looked at to qualify for nationals, one of their shows this weekend. Um, so it's going to be a really big day for them that Saturday. So their performance Gosh. will be recorded and sent to Nash to someone to be considered for them to go to nationals. Wow. wow. That was like a professional, professional I program. Know. That was Oh, yeah. So wow. Saturday, if you want to go, Saturday's the big day. They're asking for a really big audience so they can kind of feed off the yes, audience. And, that energy. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Absolutely. Very impressive. Best of luck to them. Yes. yes. Looks great. All right. Thanks, Sarah.